What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then, I wanted to talk about and discuss how long it actually takes, how many hours it actually takes then to build and run a Shopify dropshipping store. So we've all seen the videos on YouTube then, how to create a Shopify store in like nine minutes, 10 minutes. Um, but I thought I'd do a video like this just to kind of give a more realistic approach. Um, because I don't want to, I think social media can be guilty sometimes of creating a false representation of what is actually real and what actually truly goes into building and running a business. So the idea of this video then is to kind of give you two approaches. Number one, as a beginner, so how long, when I first started then nearly dropshipping three years ago, um, how long it actually took me to build my store, build my ads, find the products, etc versus what it would take me today. So how much time I actually spend today putting into my stores um, on a daily basis. But before we get into the video then, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call. In this video, all you've got to do then to enter the raffle is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video then, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said, guys, without any further ado, Let's get straight into it. So I've got my phone in front of me then. I've got some notes that I'm just gonna be running through, make sure I don't forget anything in the video. Um, but before we get into it then, I've been having some thoughts about what kind of series or content I wanna put on this channel. And I thought about doing like a lifestyle series where I talk about kind of like the day in, day out processes and tasks and actually what physically and mentally goes into running a dropshipping business with Shopify um, using Facebook ads. So if that is the kind of series or content you guys wanna see, make sure you let me know down below in the comment section. So to begin the video then, I'm gonna start kind of like from the beginner's point of view. Um, I feel like that the majority of people that watch this uh, watch this channel probably our beginners so um, we'll get that one done first and then you can just leave the video or you can carry on watching if you do want to see kind of like how many hours on a daily basis then go into running a store um, for me at the moment so as a beginner then I'm going to start with the store creation and when I first started then obviously as a beginner you don't really know what you're doing um, you don't really know your way around the Shopify dashboard so a kind of an approximate guess would be eight to 10 hours. Now, some people might think that's a lot, some people think might think that's not many, but I think for somebody who has kind of like average computer skills and can kind of guess what certain different buttons do, and by the time you've worked out kind of like how to select a product variant by clicking the image or how to get rid of the tax included message on the product page or how to remove the powered by Shopify in the footer, um, then you're probably looking at about eight to 10 hours to get a pretty decent looking store, get all the required pages like the FAQ, the privacy policies, um, and start uploading products. Which brings us on to point number two then, which is product research. So again, as a beginner, you're probably not gonna be very good at picking products. Um, and the chances are you're not gonna find your winning products. It's not gonna be the very first products you pick and choose to advertise. It certainly wasn't for me. Um, I've done a video on it, so I'm not going into too much detail, but I think it was like five or six products that I spent money on advertising before I actually found one that sold consistently well. So I've put two to four hours down on that just purely because it can range depending on what kind of person you are. Like some people are just willing to just dive into it and the very first product they come across stick on their store and start running ads. Whereas some people need a bit more time, a bit more social proof, a bit more kind of affirmation if that's right, if that's the right word, before they actually commit to a product. So two to four products then, and that includes kind of like finding the suppliers, finding other products, what I call filler products to put on your store. Number three then, so once you've got your store and you've got your products on your store, then obviously you're gonna start creating Facebook ads. And the first thing you can do then is obviously create a Facebook ad. And for this, I've put three hours. Now, again, some people might say, probably most people think that's quite a lot of time, but I'm one of those people then who likes to analyze everything and know exactly what everything does before I commit to it, especially if I'm gonna start spending money on it. So me personally then, I spent a lot of time like learning what custom audiences were, what custom conversions were, how the audience insights tool um, worked, um, what a pixel was, essentially how it worked and how you can track the conversions per week and the different pixel fires. And then I wanted to know what a traffic campaign was, what a conversion campaign was, and essentially just as much as I could before I started spending money, just so I had kind of like a better understanding before I was committing money up front. So I've kind of included that in the ad creation process, which I've put down at three hours. So once you've created your Facebook ads then and you've 
set them into review and they've gone live and they've ran for a day, two days, however long you want to give it. Um, as a beginner, by the way, I thoroughly recommend that um, you download the Facebook ads app and you watch your ads like check up on them just every two, three hours if you can and certainly review them at least every 24 hours to begin with. So Facebook ads maintenance wise then, I've put one to two hours per day. Again, purely because as a beginner, then it might take you a couple of times before you truly understand what the different kind of the anagrams, if that's the right word, so like what CPC means, and essentially which numbers you need to be watching. And because it can be a lot to get to grips with in terms of the ad manager account, there might be a lot of back and forth between in and out of ad sets, and you might not know the shortcuts or whatever it is. So I've basically just put one to two hours maintaining your Facebook ads per day. And then the next step in the process then, once you've been running your ads, if you've been doing a good job, then you're gonna be seeing orders come in the door and unless you hire a VA right out the bat, which I don't recommend you do, I thoroughly recommend as a beginner that you pretty much just learn the whole process, everything that goes into your business before you start, before you start actually outsourcing things. So order fulfillment wise then, um, back when I used to do it and kind of in the, when I was in the process of hiring VAs, I did time myself as well so I could make sure that they were performing to um, just to a decent standard, I guess. And you're looking at anywhere between 70 and 80 seconds per order. So obviously depending on how fast your internet connection is, how many products you need to load, um, whether you've got like the little note um, automatically set up so you don't have to type that in every time, uh, whether you've got um, Oblo set to ePacket as well, so make sure it pre-selects ePacket so you don't have to select that every time. So anyway, basically it's between 70 and 80 seconds, or if you're getting 20 orders per day, then you're looking at 26 minutes per day um, per 20 orders. So if you get 40 orders, you're looking at about 50 minutes. And then finally, customer service. So once you've started shipping orders, you're gonna get people asking where their orders are. It's a drop shipping business, it comes with a territory. And again, to begin with, then I would say you're probably looking at approximately one hour per day. Um, now again, some people might say that's quite high, but me personally, even to today, um, I do spend quite a lot of time thinking about what I want to say to a customer because it can make a big difference. Like if you don't word things in a specific way, then a customer might, might read it like not in the way that you intended it to be read and you don't want to offend one, offend anyone or annoy them because you only run the risk of them opening a dispute on PayPal or just kind of just getting fed up with you and asking for your money back essentially. So to summarize then the totals as a complete beginner, you're probably looking at about 15 hours to get your store up and running with products and get some ads running as well. So if you work a nine to five at the moment, then you'll be able to work out, depending on what your commitments are, what else you do, then base it on 15 hours. So you can say, if you can devote two hours a night to this, then you're looking at approximately a week before you get to that point where you can see some orders coming in the door. So 15 hours then approximately as a beginner, um, just to get your store up and running and advertising and Facebook ads running. Um, in terms of maintenance then, I've put that at approximately three hours per day. Now, again, that varies like, some people will not fulfill their orders every single night. Some people won't get back to people every single night and they'll let it kind of build up and then just do everything the weekend. So whichever, however, which way you decide to do it or however, which way you decide to process things or however long it takes you, then you're looking at approximately three hours. Now this can be a lot lower. Obviously, if you're getting zero orders a day, then um, the time each day to maintain your business is gonna be a lot less. But as a kind of general rule of thumb, as a guideline then, you're looking at 15 hours to get up and running, and then I would say two to three hours maintenance per day. Now, let me know what you guys think. If you are a beginner and you've been building your store, whatever it is, let me know if you think oh, I've overestimated this, underestimated this. Um, it'd be interesting to get your guys' point of view watching the video. So the beginner side then being covered now, I'm just gonna go pretty swiftly then through kind of like the more experienced person, how long it, or basically what it would take me then to do this um, today um, just purely because like I said most people that watch this channel are beginners so they're probably not interested so there's probably going to be a lot of people dropping out the video at this point but just in case you're interested then store creation two to four hours purely because at this point now I know the different kind of bits of code you need to add to your store whether it's to change the add to cart button or remove certain things from pages or make images smaller or change the layout or whatever it is I just I know those, I have them saved on a Google document so I can just go straight there. I've got all the resources so I can do things a lot quicker basically. 
Product research then takes about an hour. Again, the more you do product research and the more websites, the more strategies that you use and come across, then you kind of come up with your own process and your own way of thinking and your own way of doing things essentially. So it takes me approximately about an hour to gather a list of maybe half a dozen, a dozen products um, that I then want to do some further research into. Ad creation then takes me about an hour. Um, when I say that then, when I'm creating an ad, I usually create at max three and I'll usually split test three different ad creatives just because there's always there's, just because basically there's loads of different ways you can advertise a product. Now sometimes it will be one video, one carousel ad, and then one single image, and I'll split test those three. Or if it's like a really active product, like a drone or something, then it will just be three different video ads. So again, I'm kind of generalizing here, but I'm looking at about an hour um, to create kind of like the ads that I want to run for a product, whether I'm testing it or whether I'm just trying to sell it basically. So ad maintenance wise then, um, it's about an hour a day. Now, depending on whether what stages I am at with a certain product, it can be more, it can be less. So if things are going pretty well and I wanna let things play out for a while, then I'm probably looking at about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, just to kind of check over things, um, maybe make a few tweaks if I want to. Whereas if I'm in like the testing stages or the scaling strategy or scaling stages, sorry, then I'll be watching my ads a lot more closely and I'll probably spend kind of like 20 minutes at a time, maybe three or four times during the day. So I'll check them when I wake up. Um, I'll check them kind of around lunchtime and kind of like early afternoon um, then in the evening and then usually just before I go to bed as well. So again, it kind of varies and depends on at what stage and what I'm currently doing or trying to achieve with my ads. Moving on to the last two points then just quickly. So order fulfillment takes me 10 minutes per day. That's purely because I've got a VA that low preloads every single order onto AliExpress. And then I'll go in at the end of the day and I'll click basically the final button to order all of those orders. So I'll be the one essentially committing payment. And at that same time then, I'll usually pick at random say, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five different orders just to kind of cross reference, just to make sure there's no mistakes. And then customer service wise, again, I've got a VA that manages Facebook Messenger, does emails, and then whenever there's anything that requires money to be transferred to whether that's a refund or there's more money required from the customer because there is a particular product I sell where that can sometimes happen, then you know, I'm looking at about half an hour per day, usually because most things, most emails that you'll get then when it comes to drop shipping is people just asking where their order is and it doesn't take like a skilled response or skilled answer. So definitely outsource that part of the business when you have the money to do so. Um, and most of the time it's just sending like a tracking link or apologizing and saying your order is gonna be X amount of length, which again, is just easy enough just to get somebody else to do it. So about 30 minutes then per day customer service. So the totals then for a more kind of advanced person who's been doing drop shipping or Shopify for a while, you're looking at about five hours approximately then to get a store up and running with products on it versus the 15 hours as a beginner. And then you're looking at approximately two hours per day, one to two hours maintenance per day, depending on how involved you wanna be, um, how many kind of refunds you have to do that day or whatever it is. Um, again, it's kind of difficult to put a specific number on it, but hopefully then I've given you guys kind of like a good general guideline, um, just so you know what you're getting into, because like I mentioned in the intro quickly, um, that social media can be really bad at creating like a false representation of how easy things are or how little time certain things need. But at the end of the day, the way you've got to look at things that if it was really that easy and required that little time, then why isn't everybody doing it? And why isn't everybody driving around in a Ferrari making loads of money? The fact of the matter is it's difficult. It requires a lot of time. Um, it's gonna require probably like a lot of blood, sweat and tears if you like. There's gonna be highs, there's gonna be lows. And all in all then, that's kind of like how many hours you're looking at um, per day and kind of like per store creation process if you like. So that being said, guys, that's the end of the video. I've been talking way too long. Um, I'm gonna try and make the videos just a bit shorter so I can get a bit more to the point, but let me know your guys' opinion on that. Um, leave a comment down below, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like, and if you want to be entered into the raffle then for the one-to-one -one call, then of course, make sure you let me know down below in the comment section. Um, and that being said then guys, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. Here we are then guys, on my previous video, so the best countries to target for drop shipping, um, probably one of my best videos actually, there was certainly a lot of kind of shocking discoveries me personally found in that video. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you go and check it out. 
So I'm just gonna take the URL then, head over to our random YouTube comment picker, get YouTube comments, 50 you know, unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and let's see who's gonna be the winner this time then. So the winner then this time is tattooso.tv. Great content, thank you and keep it up. So thank you very much, I will. As long as you guys keep watching the videos and of course I'll keep making them. Um, make sure you reach out on Instagram then um, and hit me up and we can get that call arranged. And if you guys don't want to wait around then um, to see if you're gonna win each and every time, then you can just straight away book a call and the link is down below in the video description. And that being said then guys, without any further ado, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys tomorrow.